Today's video, we're gonna talk about Google Merchant Center custom labels and what they do for shopping campaigns and how you're gonna be able to use them to make your shopping campaigns more effective, more profitable. All of that is gonna be covered on today's video. Custom labels right off the top, if you don't know what those are, are labels that you can add to products inside your Google Merchant Center account to help you distinguish one item versus another. For instance, if you wanted to, if you were offering uh, fireworks, you were selling fireworks at your company and you wanted to categorize for whatever reason, if you wanted to categorize all the items that exploded with like over a hundred pounds of force, you could do that. If you didn't have a specific category on your site already that classified all the items that you sell in that way, you could do it by adding a custom label inside your Google Merchant Center account so that when you wanna advertise just the items with 100 pounds of explosive force, you could do so inside Google without having to manually hand select every single item, which would take a lot of time. You could still do it, but it would greatly save your time and ultimately then allows you to have categories for different items without actually having different categories on your website in order to do that. that and that's actually technically just one application of a custom label, but so you can actually label items that you're selling and that you have available through your Google Merchant Center account in any way that's gonna help you distinguish them later for whatever advertising purposes you have. I know that doesn't give you a lot of information, so I'm gonna give you actual use cases of where we used this before so you understand how you're gonna actually be able to make it, use it to make you money in your business once you start understanding that these exist and you know basically how to do it and how to use them. I'm Corey Zyman, owner of Guaranteed PPC. We're our PPC slash advertising agency that manages clients' ads and provides them guaranteed results on their advertising campaigns in that we will offer more profitable results with their ads before charging a management fee at our agency. And the idea is that we, of course, will earn more profit that will offset the management fee that we charge up front for our clients. We're the only agency on the planet that offers any kind of guarantee at all, let alone the kind of guarantee that I mentioned to you here, which should tell you something about the quality of the information that I'm gonna share with you here on today's video. I've been running the agency for 10 years now and have 20 years of overall internet marketing experience to be able to give you the information that I'm giving you on today's video. It's all very useful because of all the experience we have running hundreds of different shopping campaigns, Google Merchant Center accounts and so forth at our firm. So getting into the content here, I actually put two here. The three ways that I use custom labels in our advertising firm to be able to make more money or just save time in getting to the actual maximum results we can get through and using our Google Merchant Center account and products in our Google Merchant Center account is as the following. The first example of a way that you can use it to make more money is through Google Merchant Center promotions. If you do not know what Google Merchant Center promotions are, first of all, on a Google Shopping campaign, which are the picture ad, you have your picture of the product up top, as you know, that then the product title and the price is underneath that. Below that, you can actually have a, like a promotion, just like it sounds, promotion, you know, already in the name, a promotion that can show up underneath that, and that promotion is a discount. You're either gonna offer a flat amount off the item, a percentage off the item, and normally you can't see that technically unless you hover over the item, by the way. And so how do you get that, of course, to show up for the user is you have to set that up through your Google Merchant Center account, okay? And so with that though, you can offer a flat amount off in order to have your promotion there on your shopping ads for all the items in your store, but a lot of business owners obviously don't wanna do that because they have different levels of margin, profit margin on different categories of item. They'll want to just offer 10% off their you know, bottle rockets, not their firecrackers or whatever. Going back to that example that I gave you earlier. And um, you know, basically that's a perfect scenario where if, that, if that's the case, you're gonna go ahead in your Google Merchant Center and create a custom label, which is very easy to do. Just you know, and I won't go through what buttons to click on to create a custom label because you can easily just go to Google after this and type in how to create a custom label on Google Merchant Center and there's, at the very top of Google, it'll show up how to do it. 
But, and this is about explaining how to use it to make money, as is all the other content on this channel, which is why you should, by the way, subscribe to this video or uh, this channel, because it has a lot of other useful ways to make money with your ads, not just on Google, but Facebook and so forth. So if you haven't subscribed, you should subscribe already. It's the best information you're gonna find online about how to make money with ads and do it successfully, as it's coming from somebody that has 40 hours a week to just do ad testing at our firm on dozens of different ad accounts. So if you haven't subscribed, you should subscribe already as well. Uh, but with that said, you will go in there, create the custom label on the items that are just firecrackers. If you wanna offer 10% off on the firecrackers and to get the extra click-through rate on the ad that you're gonna get by having the Google Merchant Center promotion on the firecrackers. Then obviously you may wanna have 5% off on the bottle rockets because you know, you can only offer 5% off on bottle rockets because your margins are thinner on that. And then you would create a custom label for all the bottle rocket products. And through your Google Merchant Center promotion section of your Google Merchant Center account, then you can then go up ahead and set up your discounts. And when you set up the discounts, it'll allow you to pan select items or pick items that have that custom label on it, of which because you set up the custom labels, that you need already that it's really easy to do. You just say any item with this label, I wanna offer 5% off. Any items with this label here, I wanna offer 10% off and then you're done. Your Google Merchant Center promotions are set up. They're gonna start showing up on your ads. And by the way, if I wasn't clear enough, you absolutely wanna offer a Google Merchant Center promotion on your ads because it will increase click-through rates by double digit percentages. So yes, you're gonna reduce your margins per se by offering a discount, but it'll increase your click-through rates so much to offset that, it will still be worth it at the end of the day. I have arguments with clients all the time about how their margins are so thin and therefore they don't wanna offer any kind of discounts on their items. And I, no matter how many times I'll explain, you'll actually end up with so much more sales by offering a promotion there. It doesn't matter that you're gonna be taking five or 10% less uh, money for each sale that you're getting. They Sometimes it, it just it cannot get through to them and I can run all the numbers and everything and people are just emotionally attached to, you know, they can't raise their prices because nobody will buy, um, but they also can't offer a discount because they can't make any money. When the reality is if you, you think your margins are too thin, you raise the product price so you can offer a promotion because the promotion itself is gonna increase the click-through rate of your ad 20 to 50% typically. Now obviously varies by niche, or market to market. And that increase in click-through rate doesn't sound like a lot, but when you increase the click-through rate 30%, buy it about another 30% as well. And then, so you're talking about 60% increase in profitability with that kind of thing, buy, or sales by that kind of thing, if you will, just by giving a 10% discount. Yes, that cuts off 25% of your margin, so to say, maybe, or maybe 15%, but you're increasing your sales by 60%, so it offsets it. You know, you, wouldn't you take an extra 60% of sales even though you're only gonna be making half the profit margin on those items? Obviously, you would take that. Anyway, I think I get my point across as to you know how important the Google Merchant Center promotions are. As a side here, we've sold, you know, we've got double digit increase in profitability on items using the Google Merchant Center promotions from everything from, you know, including the firework example that I gave you, but also house paint, pottery making equipment and the list goes on. Yeah, you may say, I, well, everybody's using these Google, Google Merchant Center promotion codes now that I'm offering it and I don't like it. Or you could say, I would have never got these sales if I didn't offer the discount. So take my word for it. Anyway, that is one example of using the labels to make money. Uh, the other way that you're gonna use custom labels to make money is by to filter items at the campaign level. Uh, if there are certain items that you do not want to promote in your shopping campaigns, for whatever reason, a lot of times people, you know, certain items that they just don't have the margin so they can't afford to spend on advertising and still make money at the end of the day because it's like so razor thin, they got like a 10% profit margin and that's it. As rare as it may be, if you had that situation, you, instead of just deleting that product on Google Merchant Center itself to make sure it doesn't show up in your shopping campaigns, you could actually just add a custom label there and then inside your shopping campaign, you could then just filter under the product menu, all items by that label and then you know select all and then exclude. And then that would then automatically exclude every item that you know fits that category in which you applied the label, which you can exclude items manually one by one, but when you sell, let's say 5,000 items 
And of the 5,000 items, 468 are ones you don't want to promote in that shopping campaign. It's actually easier to just go inside your Google Merchant Center account and apply the labels there. It's quicker to do it that way. You do it, it's quicker, but the bigger issue is, is that you can't get any free clicks on items that are not in your Google Merchant Center account anymore. If you don't know or weren't aware, you can actually get free clicks on items. You can get organic shopping clicks and you can get paid shopping clicks if you run ads. And so you're throwing away any potential for free clicks if you exclude it on the Google Merchant Center side versus on the Google Shopping side. The uh, going forward into um, sample or uh, example three here of how you use cu custom labels in Google Merchant Center to make more money, you can use them to set up unique campaigns for each item category. So there's a kind of a big debate going on now whether or not you should use one shopping campaign and have all your items that you sell in it. Or should you have like a different campaign that has your hot sellers in it and then everything else in another campaign? The answer to that question is, you know, actually a little bit depends, but for the most part, a majority of the time, it's all the items in the same campaign. Why? Because the machine learning system that Google has that decides if a certain item should show or another guy's item should show or no item should show is all predicated on, you know, past data. Yes, but it will allow you and you need a certain amount of data to do us, you know, to be so efficient with your campaigns. If you start breaking your items out into many campaigns, then it's sp effectively spreading out all the data and the learnings that the machine learning algorithm is doing over many campaigns. And so it will take longer to get to the end result, the end big result that you're looking for, break it out into several campaigns like that, if you will. So that's the main reason why multiple campaign shopping campaigns won't do better in the same amount of time and same amount of spend as one campaign that has everything. That said though, the exception is where you have many different types of items. Like if you're Walmart, you're not gonna want one shopping campaign for everything. Why? Because deck chairs are gonna convert so much differently than bedding that you wanna create separate campaigns for each. The machine learning is gonna be able to much more easily learn what it needs to learn when you know, you've, you've kind of like done half the work for them to say all these items that match this category should be, you know, you, you learn as a whole from them what they do. And then the same thing with another category and it will learn quicker. In other words, if you sell many types, different types of items, like if you going back to the paint example, if you sell house paint, you shouldn't create one campaign for latex house paint and then, you know, oil house paint. They're, they're pretty much similar throw it all into the same campaign, you're gonna make more money in the same amount of time with one campaign over breaking it out into multiple. If you sell house goods though as a whole and you sell couches and you sell wall paintings, I would recommend two separate campaigns for that. That's the level of differentiation that you should have break it out into separate campaigns, if you will. Just because the campaign, the algorithm that Google has is gonna learn quicker. Yes, they can kind of learn by understanding that you have different categories you know, like based upon the product titles and all that, that, you know, these items are kind of linked together and these are kind of linked together, but it still is going to help the system out a lot better when you break it out into separate campaigns. That and for the fact that you could set your budget different for each category then, you can set your target ROREs for each campaign separately then and have a lot more control over your investment at that point in time because couches are going to convert a lot better than bedding. And if you market both, what you can do is you, if you know that couches are not converting very well, you're getting, let's say a 200% ROAS on the couches, but a 500% ROAS on your bedding, you can actually sit, take the couches, take your daily budget on the couches campaign, set it at $10 a day, and then, you know, set the daily budget on the bedding campaign to a hundred a day, knowing that you're getting a better return on the bedding while still running the couches campaign, letting it still you know, build data up in the background, uh, but not running it aggressively enough that it brings the overall account average ROAS that you're getting, and therefore ROI, down under a minimum level where the, the account's not profitable. Your goal as an advertiser that's trying to make millions of dollars a year for your business running the ads is to get a base of something that's most likely to work and generate the ROI that you need. Once you've gotten that, you're gonna constantly reinvest 10% of the ad spend that you have at any given time then in something new that needs to have some time to 
you know, optimize, have runway on it and get that to work. And when that, that works, you're going to then have, you're going to redevote 10% of your budget to something else that's new. And then, you know, through the process of elimination of running that, figure out what works and what doesn't work, then you're going to do something else new. But you're always, in other words, going to invest 10% of your money on something that's new that you know it's going to take a while for it to work. Because it's only 10%, you're still profitable. You're, and you're always investing 10% in the future growth of your account as, you know, if you will there. As you break up all your shopping campaigns into by item category, if you will, then the item categories that are doing well, you can run more aggressively. And the ones that are, aren't doing as well, you can keep that contained to just 10% of your spend. And that'll make sure that you've got growth room for future potential always. But while not, you know, investing so much in future potential that your overall account is not profitable and you may run out of money before you ever get to the promised land where you're, everything's working and all that. So the, the custom labels can help you set up every and divide everything by category very, very easily because you can go ahead and label how and break things out like that. Just comforters, just sheets, but you know, that's not a perfect example because betting will kind of pretty much, like I said before, work similarly, but it can be, you know, chairs versus couches versus um, hutches, if you will, given the type of buyer who buys a hutch is so much different than a person who buys a couch, you know, as a whole, which is really what it's about to define whether or not you break it, your, what you're doing out into several campaigns. You ask yourself, is the person buying this item very much different than the person who buys this item in terms of their age, their household income and the like. And if they are, you should probably put it into a separate campaign, you know, take the hit on the, you know, spreading out your data to have the upside potential of the system being able to figure out quicker that this, these items over here, it needs a, you know, to a certain type of buyer to work. And, uh, but when it finds it, it understands how to actually turn that whole category and, and learn what it found from the two or three items in that category, apply it to all the others. And then now suddenly you got a big jump in your results. Cause ultimately that's what it's about. The system will get confused when you group everything together as to what income of user, even that the item should show up in front of. Whereas if you single it out into different categories and this item typically takes a top 20% earner and this item over here, it's the top 50% is okay it'll be able to figure out how to dial in the ads for these items as a whole over here quicker than it would if you grouped everything together, if you're following me here. So, but as it comes to custom labels, if you, by the way, want somebody to set up custom labels for you, this is what we do for clients that are agency. We can get you results on your campaigns. We can estimate what it'll do for you and guarantee you a certain result on it. You reach out to me at guaranteeppc.com. I'll be happy to give you a quote. Every client, a free assessment at the beginning to see if we can work together. As a side, if we've worked in your niche market before, you can actually take the winning ads, landing pages, campaigns, all of it that work for your niche market, copy paste those into your own ad account and get the same results we were getting in a different geographic market that you're in. That is different city, different country or whatnot. We've worked in over a hundred niche markets in the last 10 years of running this firm. So the chances are high. We've already developed and learned everything you need to learn to run a successful ad campaign for your business. And you can buy it from us outright for a one-time fee and already have a campaign working relatively quickly as soon as it gets warmed up inside your account. Uh, if you're interested in that or just want to start a whole nother business, don't know what to get into, starting with a working template is the easiest way to do it, whether you want to sell leads, because we got templates that generate leads at a cheap rate that they can people have been selling to other people in that market. Like we've had people that bought the plumbing template that we have and sell plumbing leads to plumbers, which is a great passive income business idea. We've got people that started e-commerce businesses that wanted to sell mattresses. We sell mattresses in country A and you can sell them in country B that our client is not in and have a turnkey business. Have a turnkey business with this, practically speaking, because you start out with the ad, you know, the, getting the ads that work to sell it at a profitable rate which is the hardest part for something like that. So anyway, if you're interested in any of those things, you can reach out to me at Guaranteed PPC as well. But I went through the basics behind the custom labels. I'm sure there's other reasons why you can use custom labels that I personally haven't thought of before, but those are the main things. After running hundreds of shopping campaigns, pretty much what you need and want 
Uh, by the way, I typically run Pmax campaigns instead of shopping campaigns nowadays because they actually make more money and sooner than regular shopping. At least when you talk about Pmax with a no feed only setup, you can Google, go to my channel homepage and search for feed only Pmax campaigns. And I talk about, I have whole videos dedicated to that. That's the best way to run a shopping ad. If feed only gets it to only show up on shopping and then you get all the extra machine learning capabilities that a Pmax campaign has to run a shopping ad than a shopping standard shopping campaign does not have. So if you're curious about that, you should, and you wanna run shopping ads for your business, you should check that out as well. But no doubt the information you're gonna get on this channel is gonna be better. I promise you that you're gonna find elsewhere on YouTube about really making money with ads on Google, on Facebook and the like. So you should subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet already. You can also check out my blog at guaranteedppc.com slash blog where I have step-by-step -step instructions to use the strategies we use to guarantee results for our clients. So if you like the channel, you should check the blog out as well. Most people like it even more. Uh, and then finally, frankly, if you have any questions about anything I covered here or any ad-related question in general, you can always leave me a comment below. I get back to every single person that leaves me a question or comment on this channel, usually within 24 hours time. Hopefully that gives you uh, enough information to start earning a lot more money from your ad spend as it sits today or in the future can make a lot more money in general because you're armed with this advice and or it saves you some time, which time is money as we all know. So with that said, like I said, if you have any questions, leave me a comment below. But with that said, I'll end it with that. Thank you for watching. Remember when I said Google Merchant Center GMC was important during this video? Well, this video here tells you how to do it.